Hi, this is Christine. It is uh, September 1st, 2014 in the morning. And there's an article that came out on Raju the elephant. He's an elephant who lives in India. The original article that came out about him was on July 8th, 2014. It happened the Tuesday before the 17th of Tammuz, which is also the breach in the wall. And it's leading up to um, the 50 days like of Jubilees where you set the captives free. What I, what I noticed about that article is that Raju had been poached by um, his owners as a baby elephant from his mother. They put him in chains <clears throat> and shackles and had these spikes that were digging into his feet. Um, they would pluck the hairs out of his tail and sell them for good luck charms. They forced him to beg for um, people would give like handouts and money and they didn't feed him he was eating paper and plastic products somebody had spotted him and then informed the um, animal society and a year long um, plan was developed to get him out um, that plan did take place and he got freed. They came under the cover of darkness and they freed him. Um, after 50 years. 50 years is the year of Jubilee. <clears throat> after 50 years of living that way. So from a baby elephant to 50 years he had lived that way. And why the article made headline news is because the elephant cried when he got released. It's almost like he was so thankful and grateful. He was just crying out for help, for somebody to help him. And they came and they, and they set him free. They put him on a truck and took him to um, an, an animal reserve where he's making friends with new elephants and they just want him to live out the rest of his life in happiness when they got him to the reserve they took the spikes off and the spikes had sort of grown into his flesh already so that was probably painful having that removed but what came to me when that first article came out on July 8th is because it was the week before the 17th of Tammuz which is the breach in the wall um, and you know God breached the wall in order to break through later on um, for the bringing down of the city and um, just the fact that he was released and set free at 50 years which is the year of Jubilees and we were getting ready because the 17th of Tammuz is like the, the preparation for the Jubilee the setting free of the captives <coughs> well now Today, September 1st, 2014, there's an article that came out, and apparently Raju's owners, the ones who misused and abused him, are going to court to get him back. And there's a petition going around to keep him free, and I signed it, and I also sent it around to all of my family and friends. And some people have responded, and uh, they emailed me and, and told me that they did sign it because I feel sorry for this elephant <clears throat> and it it bothers me that these um, owners want him back because they don't have his best interest at heart and I not only feel sorry for him but I'm praying also for all the other elephants and animals who are still in captivity and in bondage to cruel owners um, I pray for these owners that God might shine light into their heart and their eyes and their mind and they might see you know their wicked ways because it's not nice to treat animals this way or even people this way but what came to me this morning 
is um, the fact that this article came out and the previous owners are trying to get Raju the elephant back. Guys, we've already gone past the 9th of, um, of. We're heading into Rosh Hashanah, which is the 24th of September. Actually, September 14th is the 40 days. It's the end of the 40 days of cleansing. And then, um, you know, we've got 10 days until Rosh Hashanah, which is when the year of Jubilee starts. The year when the captives are set free. Um, we're, we're about halfway there. And just as these cruel owners want the elephant back after he got set free, his jubilee, because he got set free <coughs> at 50 years of age, and 50 is the year of jubilee, 50 years. Just as he got set from the year of jubilee, now his cruel owners want him back. Guys, we're on the verge of jubilees on the 24th. We're halfway there. And your cruel owners, which, which means Satan, okay, God sets you free. He wants you to be free. But Satan, the cruel owner, might be petitioning the court, God, to get you back. Because <clears throat> he's going to say that you're his property, you know, because of sin and whatever. Sometimes these physical things play out in the spiritual world. I don't know if there's anything to it, but this is just what's coming to me about the elephant. The fact that he got set free and now somebody's trying to get him back. And guys, we've been set free. And Satan may be trying to petition the heavenly court to get us back. Um, we're on the threshold of a new beginning, guys. You want to be open and flexible to whatever God is going to make available to you. <clears throat> Don't get stuck in hopelessness and despair. And know that God can set you free. Okay, if you're struggling with things right now. Just pray. Stay true and faithful to the Lord and just get through it. Because there, there might be a petition <clears throat> going on in the heavenly court right now for all of us. For our souls. But we've been set free. And just like how I pray that the court system does not hand Raju over back to his cruel owners. I don't want any of us handed back over to Satan or the cruel owners either. God's not going to hand you back. You're going to choose to go back, so don't. Don't choose to go back, guys. Just keep moving forward, okay? Keep walking in faith <clears throat> and in belief and um, know that God loves you. So anyway, that's what uh, that's what came to me when that article showed up about the previous cruel owners wanting the elephant back after he had been set free after 50 years. And the timing also of what we're in. 50 years is the year of Jubilee. The elephant was set free, we're set free. It happened just before the 17th of Tammuz, which is the breach in the wall prior to the city falling. And we are approaching Rosh Hashanah, which is the beginning of the year of Jubilees, guys. So if there's a petition going on in the court, Satan wanting to get you back, it's going to happen now before the year of Jubilees, because he doesn't want you free on the year of Jubilee. So that's what came to me. I just thought I'd share it. Don't know if there's anything to it. Okay, God bless and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.